Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Guru Matt Streams, your custom prisons. Uh, it's a little bit later than I normally stream on the eastern coast. It is nine or 8.30 in the evening. Uh, but I'm trying out different times. I'm hoping that if you haven't been able to make my streams lately, that you'll be able to make it to these times. Uh, and uh, we're going to try and uh, see how this goes. So hey there, Super Treks, and hey there, Wild Creepers. Good to see you guys. Um, just to let you know, I will be inviting people in if they want. Hey there, Yeet Yo, you are not first. You tried, though. You tried. Oh, uh, and then, uh, okay, so the, the prison we're doing today is Zambuka Island Prison. And the, the info is, you must escape this island! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. So yeah, it is a, hey there, Will Gregor. Finally to stream, and hello, Soul the Dragon. Feels bad, man, is what Yeet Yo's saying. Well, you were close. You were very close. Uh, so if you guys are interested in playing, here, I'll go over here and show you where you can find me. Um, I'm in the Browse Games, and I'll be over here. You can also, if you have me on my friends list, or if I'm on your friends list, um, you can right-click, like, break, basically bring up the uh, Steam overlay, go to View Friends, and then find me on there, and then right-click, and then you can actually join game. And so that's actually one of the ways that a couple of people have been getting in pretty quickly. And Super Drix is a prison that wants you to escape. Yeah, you're right. That is true. I don't wish you could play too as well, Wild Creeper. Uh, so we'll be making this public. And seeing how we... We're, we're going to try our luck. See how this goes. I'm going to actually give myself an hour limit to the time. So once that hour is up, if we haven't escaped, we won't escape. That'll be the prison that defeated me. I feel like giving it a cutoff time kind of gives a little bit more tension. You know, I'm, I'm more motivated to escape. Hey there, Phoenix Warlord. Good to see you back, man. And you're finally here. Yay! Alright, so we're on an island. So there is like, it looks like there was one path. Oh, the cool, the Condoran pet desk is right there. So that is good to know. Uh, but it looked like there was one perimeter escape. I'm thinking I want to go check that out. Oh man, roll call is like at oh dark hundred in the morning. Yeesh. I mean, that is also good. We know that as long as the spotlights are out, it's safe to dig. It's safe to go through walls. It's safe to go through fences. Ooh, a guard desk. Interesting. I wonder if we can get... I'm thinking what we can do is... Oh, 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 oh. What do we have here? So interestingly enough, we do have ourselves a helicopter. This would be, I think, our single player escape. I don't think that's good for multiplayer though. Hmm. How do we want to do multiplayer? Like, honestly, getting out somehow and getting over here would be ideal, but this guy has done a good job walling off everything. So just going through walls, maybe digging under them, it might be an idea. Like, if we get a multi-tool together, and we got, um, let's see, did anyone join us yet? Nope. <laughs> so I'm alone. You know what? I might just do a key rush or something if I am alone. Oh, no, I, I can't do a key rush because there's a cyan and a fence. So good on you, dude, for making sure that you can't just grab a key and run. Blaster the dude says, when's my prison? Can you put up a list? I do have a list on my Discord. Ask me in the comments, and uh, I'll look it up later, man, and uh, bring it out for you. Let's see, Phoenix World says he chooses mods on his ability. Oh yeah, so. Yeah, General Boss, uh, I have no need for mods right now, but thanks for your inquiry. Um, usually, you know, mods are people that are hanging around a lot and that I got I get to know. Just like Phoenix of the Warlord said. And thank you, Wild Creeper, for promoting the stream as well. That is very kind of you. Um, how did I get Oh, Silver Mat. <laughs> Someone joined. Soul the Dragon. Okay. I was curious. I was like, wait a minute. How can I be the only person here at the correct spot and uh, I get a half a star? No. Oh, this is great. I actually want the bleach. So if you could just look away, sir, officer, thank you. Mmm, good bleach. Uh, so, like, it looks like we are going to, whatever we do, we're going to have to get our intellect up. So we're going to probably want to look for a place to do that. 
Yigo says, uh, cut around the cyan key door. Actually, that is a great idea. And that's probably what we'll end up doing. Oh, Sol said they hit a, a guard by accident on the way over. Tisk. General Bo Bro says, I know I've been along since he started his YouTube channel. Well, it's good to see you, man. I'm glad you're able to be around. Uh, let's see. What I want to do is I really want to get a uniform. I want to check out these desks. I think it'd be really cool to see what they have. And uh, that's just one of the things is... There are a lot of great things in guard desks a lot of the time. And we might even find ourselves like a, a, a like a key. Like That's always fascinating whenever I find a key in here. I'm like, oh, cool. I mean, why not? Wild Creeper says it would be cool if you could put bleach in a cup and then knock a prisoner out. I mean, you could put hot molten chocolate in a cup. I think that's about as good as we get. Oh, duck into here. Like, could you not walk into here, please? Thank you. Like, I want to check this desk, but this guy is kind of... Oh, he's asleep now. That's fine. Ah, uh, nothing. Like, nothing very good, but that's okay. Maybe I could find something in the contraband desk. That is kind of hanging out just over here. Super Trek says, Guru escapes so the, so the stream is 10 minutes long. <laughs> I've done that more than once. I, I do that when I can. I mean, just... I'm going to escape as fast as possible. You know, let's just let's just put it that way. Uh, but, you know, I, I recognize that people put a lot of time and effort into these that I don't always... I don't always sit there and uh, spend a lot of time not escaping, you know? Alright, so I think I don't really need the baton. I don't really need the chocolate. Let's just put that there. Uh, but I do want to kind of get all these to my desk, so we'll do that in three, two, one, go, 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 go. But it is very nice to be able to get contraband items from that contraband desk. Like, that is very cool. I like it. And you know what? Getting my intellect up does sound like a great idea. Uh, and then Phoenix World is playing the town of Salem right now. Nice. And apparently in Hello Neighbor, you can knock out the neighbor by putting sleeping pills in milk. Interesting. Oh, I am uh, un in trouble. They did not like the fact that I am wandering around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, like, can you... Uh, I was going to try and get my uniform off and then drop it. Let's see if I can't. Alright, right. Um, and then Soul, like, here's my uniform if you can get to it. There we go. Alright, take me now, officers. I don't need this. Excellent. That's kind of the thing. I knew I had a spare uniform in my desk, so I wasn't worried, but I'd like him to wear mine if he needed it. <laughs> you don't need chocolate? Outrageous. Yeah, Phoenix Warlord, I know, I know. I'm trying to lay off the chocolate. Hey there, Aiden, it's good to see you. And Dottie the Amazing is here. Watermelon is what they say. And I agree, watermelon is awesome. Yo-Yo says, got an escape plan. Um, Tentatively, we've got an escape. We can go through some fences. But we, but, like, we need both of us to have... Um, you know, the contraband pouch, you can pass the metal detector, because there's literally no other way around unless we dig. Which we could do! Like, that is possible. But kind of iffy. I think there's a boat over here somewhere. But again, we need to get past the metal detectors, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing a way around that. Which is smart planning, honestly, by the, by the map creator. And they said we can actually cut our way around this door and then just go over here. Which is actually a pretty good idea. But only if we need to go through this way, then we'd need keys for that as well. So I think we're just going to keep this to the two unless someone else really wants in. Because um, getting more keys is just going to be awkward. Yo-Yo says you can dig the blues plane and then cut the fence. Yeah, like, I'm kind of a fan of digging through here. And digging over to there. I mean, we could put the desk on top of where we're digging anyway, or at least who's ever, like, uh, if we do it a, a little bit at a time. 
we can move the desk but we need to get we need to get a lot of stuff for that and again we still need to get contraband pouches because um, there are some contraband detectors already up here hmm yeah like like great map design getting double sided walls everywhere don't let these prisoners out <laughs> And then this is kind of interesting. I like the little, it's like metal detector to nowhere. So it always throws me off. Casimir says, I love you. Keep up the good work. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I love you too. You guys are awesome. Super Drake says, yeah, dig because it's your favorite thing to do in the game, Guru. Oh, you've got my number. Yeah, digging is not my favorite thing to do. What if we dug over here? Oh, okay, okay, you know what? I'm kind of liking this. Like, I think if we're fast enough, we could dig out from this area. Maybe maybe from our cells, because it looks like we, we could just walk around. Yeah, I think our cells would be much safer. But the trick is, can we actually walk past this uh, sniper tower? I don't know. I don't know. It looks like you should be able to. Yeah, it looks like you can't get around it. But that's like not 100% guaranteed and we won't know until we try. Okay, so um, step one, I think we're going to go ahead and start covering up the cell area with blankets. I'm not going to be making a bed dummy just yet. Uh, I just want to put a decent blanket cover over where we're going to be digging. And I think we might as well just dig out of my cell. So, choo, 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 choo. And one of the major complaints is like we don't have, um, we don't have uh, cameras that can look up on the map. They can only look down, left, and right. So people are like, "Why can't my cameras look up?" It's awkward. Wild Creeper says, I, "I watch your vids, thinking I can escape, but I'm just a bad at escapists, but it's still fun." Oh, you can escape too, I'm sure of it. You're a smart guy. I will I will get this over here into my desk, sure, why not? Alright, so uh, what do we what do we want? We want Like timber is actually gonna be pretty good. If we're going to be digging our way out and we're going past three tiles, we need at least one timber brace. So um, that is a thing. Uh like duct tape of course, always always something you want to keep grabbing. Welcome back, Aiden. Casimir says prisons are great, and A, love that game. Yeah, like, the game is awesome. And the new updates, like, keep coming out with better prison editor stuff. It's been great. Yes, yeah, see what she did? No, I, I didn't see, man. What'd she do? <laughs> anyway, um... Make way for the king. I like this guy. He is, like sure of himself although if he is a political prisoner he might actually be a king you know I don't know what class of prisoners they have on this prison Jackson Cruz would like a shout out hey there Jackson it's good to see you man general uh, bros asks, what's your favorite escape is to prison music soundtrack um I don't know I kind of don't really pay much attention to the music to be honest I just enjoy it when it's there but I really enjoyed the latest DLC when they have um, what's it called uh, Showtime it's, they actually have like a new like music fanfare or whatever it's very well done I really like it Doo -doo -doo -doo. Jackson says I love you good youtuber oh, thanks man I love you too little dude person in, in YouTube land all right, it is job time. We don't actually, you know what though? Like getting the woodworking job isn't a bad idea. It allows us to get all the wood we ever want. So I'm kind of tempted, but I don't have the strength requirement for it just yet. Uh, this might take several days. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's figure this out. And then I'm looking at myself on the screen going, is that looking good? 
Can you see everything just fine? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not down here where the health is. Supertrek says that their favorite is the Christmas prison. I agree. That is a good prison and great sound. Like, I have been super impressed with the sound design overall. And Wild Creeper, oh, you deserve respect too, man. Alright, um... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I technically should be wearing my guard outfit for doing this, but... Oh, well. Ooh, I found a weapon. Look at me now. I got a spear. Yeah, the music is great on that Christmas prison. Um, I don't want to actually beat up this person. So I'm not going to finish that quest, but that's okay. Now we're getting a ton of duct tape, at least. I am happy with that. Joe Bros is like, wait, there's such a thing as YouTube land? Yep, you're living in it. Plus, my favorite prison soundtrack is Kapow Camp. Nice. It's a good prison. I mean, soundtrack-wise. Like, it's one of my more favorite escapes, uh, cutscenes for the single-player escape on the, uh, riding the bike out. Like, that's so, that's so much fun. It's one of my least favorite escapes on multiplayer, but I think that's true for most people. And, like, a lot of my... Alright, we got this, we got this. Let's just continue on with life. I don't want to be carrying contraband around with me if I can help it, because... Metal detectors, and then I appreciate the fact that there aren't metal detectors out of every single cell, but it's like they're spread liberally throughout the area. It, it makes great design sense. Hey there, Joseph Doherty. Sup, man. Well, Creeper says on average, how many subs do you get a day or week? Um, like I looked at my averaging, I think for a month. Is like around a hundred subs or so and uh, I don't and that's been like it grows and wanes based on how much uh, publicity I get off of the escapist too let's just say because obviously my most popular videos are the ones that I do for guides for walkthroughs and uh, I, that gives more foot traffic and more people sometimes stop and go hey you know maybe I want to actually subscribe to this guy so I'm, I like to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to branch out and see how well I can do on my other videos. And, uh, you know, kind of push myself as a YouTuber. Like, what, what can I do better? What can I, uh, can I do better thumbnails? Can I, um, uh, maybe make better banter while I'm doing stuff? Uh, you know, that sort of thing. Because there's always room to grow. Like, I'm never one of those, like... I have attained perfection. I'm like, you know what? I can do better. Ah, this beat the bully quest I probably will complete. And General Bro says, do you like Nintendo? I do. In fact, my first console was a regular Nintendo. I'm that old, but it was glorious. And then, of course, I played Super Nintendo. But, you know, the latest consoles I haven't actually gotten into. Just haven't really uh, had the time slash... You know, you can only pick one console, and so I've been going for Xbox and Playstations. Alright. Aiden said, well, I thought I lived in the USA, not YouTube land. <laughs> you live in both. It's a magical place where you can travel from one to another. Alright, um... Do -do 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 -do. Super Trek says their Santa escape for the Christmas prison was their favorite escape. I, uh, it is a good one. Yeah, knock out Santa Claus. How how crazy is that? All right, and Yo is doing his own stream on on uh, Twitch. If you guys are interested, feel free to go watch him out. He's a cool dude. Uh, let's see, who am I beating up? I gotta make this before they'll let me beat people up. Uh, like, I don't want to make it before I know who I have to go defeat, so... What's their name? Alex. Check this out. Where is Alex? Because I don't want to be in a place... There he is. He's already in the infirmary. So someone's been beating him up. Hey there, Colin. It's good to see you, man. And yeah, Yeot is going to be speedrunning for anyone who's interested. 
Alright, Alex is going to be walking out here. I got my Kosh ready to go for him. Bam. Or her. You know, I'm not I'm not sure who... Alright, let's down him. Down him. Down him. Yeah. Uh, the guard did see me. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be beating me up. But if he also beat up that guy... That's interesting. My heat isn't actually rising until I hit the guard. As long as they defend with their attacks, my heat doesn't actually go up. That's interesting. I've never noticed that before. It, that's one of the things about this game. You play it a long time and there's still little bits and details you can learn. Uh, so Joseph Dirty asks, how's life? It's going pretty well. I'm going to be going to Japan this March 16th, so oh, that's coming up soon. Very quickly, very quickly. Supertrex asks, how's the one year USS Anomaly going? <laughs> like, I kind of stopped playing that. I was, I was like, run leaving it overnight, and I've still been doing it, but it's just like, man, a whole year. Ay, yay, ay. Gerald Bros says, I like your hairstyle, it's nice, and do you like Center Perks 2.0? I actually do really like Center Perks 2.0, I think it's a fun place. Um, it, it's one of the, it's the only prison you can escape from just by going through the fence, so that's interesting. Oh, hey, new subscriber. Hey there, Willy Wonka. And, and so, uh, it's the only place you can go through the fence without having to worry about a wall, so that's, that's one thing. And then another is that it's, a uh, I got one of my favorite escapes, which is you walk out as part of the camera crew. Like, that legitimately screams to me like that would be something you could really do in real life. Just dress yourself up and be, yeah, part of the camera crew. Let me out. Hey there, Pickles for Life. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And Kebab says, have you been in the real Alcatraz? No, I have not. That's actually one of the things I kind of wish I had done. I in San Francisco was go to the Alcatraz. Like, yeah, here it's pretty creepy. I mean, you would think that it's a big building meant to hold prisoners and now it's empty and silent and deadly. I mean, not that last part, but all those other things, sure. Okay, now we'll finally get our strength up. I think we will be going for um, the woodworking job just for the wood, or even just for the money too, let's be honest. We could use it. We're, we're probably going to be building a lot of stuff. Let's see. Pickles for life. Oh, yeah. See, they said that. Uh, Hector. Lel. Hello there, guy. I see you writing that weird little in there. And General Bro says, um... Oh, yeah. Super Trunks was saying, can Willy Wonka give us free chocolate? And General Bros is like, yeah, Mr. Wonka, please. <laughs> uh, I think he could if he existed. But uh, he's also a very stingy old man. I think in the movie, ah, oh, see, I went the wrong way yet again. In the movie, he was like, I'm going to make all these people go through these crazy experiences and then be mad that they act all weird and funny. Uh, because I'm I'm eccentric and I'm trying to get someone to run my place. I don't know. It was a weird movie. Hey there, Grimmy. You are in the Twitch area. It's good to see you, man. I hope you're having a lovely day. All right, so what do we need? We, we're going to need some cutters. So let's go ahead and use up these files. I don't feel bad. Uh, I wanted to get these safe. Like, anything up here is not safe. <laughs> Yay, that he's old, old, old. And General Bros is correct. He is kind of cranky. He's a cranky old man. Uh, so what am I looking for? I am still looking for... Foil, I do need to get my intellect up still. Like, yeesh. I only got 45, so we'll get uh, enough up to at least craft, maybe. Our very own. Although, if we're going through. Yeah, we're, we're going through the walls. I mean, uh, we're digging, right? So we need a multi tool, so we need to go up to 70. Ugh. Still, we can get there. And then, uh, desks, I believe, reset at 7 in the morning. So we've got a little bit of time before that. Grimmy asks, what is The Escapist 2? Well, The Escapist 2 is this game, and uh, basically you are locked in prison, and you're trying to escape. That's that's the game. 
<laughs> There's a lot of different things you can do. It's a lot of variations. Um, it's like I want to say a little bit Minecraft-esque in that you have tools and uh, you're able to use those however you desire. Uh, like my current plan is we're going to be going through the floor over here and then walking our way to freedom but like this worries me I don't think I can actually walk by this so I maybe we might we might want to dig out here anyway so yeah we need to get enough stuff together for that oh a shovel the very beginnings of one awesome oh we might want to get the uh, blacksmithing job if we can't find enough um, sheet metal cauliflower just switched to twitch I didn't know you had this too yeah so I try to stream at different places so whenever like certain people like different places so the old llama says I think I'm dead oh no live live old llama all right oh Nate lab says that I wish I had the escapist too and that's why I'm watching you. Yeah, that I've done that too, where it's like, I can't afford a game. I'll let's go watch someone on YouTube play it. Alright, so we will go ahead and wear this. I want to go ahead and check out this place again. I mean, I don't think it'll have anything new, but... Oh, psh, psh, never mind. It'll have a lot of things. Wow. Oh, they also have a flimsy set of cutters. I feel kind of bad making those earlier. I couldn't save those pieces. Alright. Now this is the tricky part. We're going to have to run back to our base. Ow. Oh, uh, no. You know what? I saw my buddy over here standing around. He's going to be helping us by grabbing things. And then I... There we go. Let's get him that. And we're down. Alright. Hopefully he'll get my uniform as well. Yes, perfect. Like that's exactly why I love having friends in games because it's they help each other out. And then Funko Rian person says this is Cuphead. Uh oh. Am I? Am I? Am I? Did I mess up on the Twitch side of things? I'm gonna have to try and look at that real quick. One second, guys. Um. Dun dun dun. Yeah, we're gonna double check that I'm just darkening the screen I know like I had this set up so you could see a picture here at this point but that apparently is not working at the moment so I must have accidentally yeah yeah I put the category as cuphead sorry guys for those of you who were coming over wondering why this cuphead looked very strange all right we'll get back into this There we go. Hey there, Funkery in person. Hey there, Endor Arrow. It's good to see you, man. All right, we are going back. Back to exercise time. Kebab says your tutorials help me out a lot. And I'm glad, man. That's awesome. The Odd Llama says, "What should I do when I'm gone?" Like, you're not, you're not dead, man. You're alive. Live, live life to the fullest. That's what I say. Alright, what can we buy? I'll, well, we can buy decent things, but... Metal detectors, man. Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can't find, actually... That's actually not too bad. I will buy that. Well, you know what? No. I'm, I'm gonna wait until later. Usually the best bet to get someone and buy something from them is when they're behind the metal detectors. And you don't need to run by them. Second best time is when they're selling you a contraband pouch. Blue, Blue Dragon says, "Great stream, thanks, man. I appreciate you." And General or Gerald, I keep saying General, says, "Do you have Rocket League? And if you do, can you play it on camera?" Uh, I do have it, but I'm really, really, really bad, and like I, I just don't have the drive to get better. <laughs> So I, I don't know that I'll be playing it on camera. So Funkarian's person says they're too bored to buy Escapist. Oh, that's a that's a bummer. It's one of those things like put it on your wish list, I'd say, and like see if it ever goes on sale. 
All right. Um. So technically, two flimsy cutters is all we really need. Let's be honest. That that will get us through what we're where we're going. All right, and then you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and wear my uniform. Uh, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and wear the medic outfit. Yeah. And then what I'll do is I'll use this to go around and look at all the various things. I'm not going to be checking out the the guard desks just yet because I really need to go through and just check out the regular desks. There's a lot more of them. Caleb says, how much have you played the first Escapist? I think I have over 300 hours or so. It's a lot. Oh, no, no. The first Escapist. No. Sorry. I was thinking you said the second Escapist. Zero. I have not played any of the first Escapists. I saw... Some people play it online, and I saw some guides on various things. Just because I was checking it out and going, I wonder what this game was like. Never played it myself. <laughs> so, Grammy says, the guard, you're going through the fence or the wall. Yeah, we're going through the fence, or we're going underneath the wall, actually. If all goes according to plan. And, in fact, I want to go ahead and grab the can of soda except oh yeah we're gonna probably need some sort of energy retaining device or you know something to help us with our energy generation whenever you're on a long escape and you're digging through stuff you use up a lot of energy all right so this is the perfect time to see if anyone is selling what we want this is the crowbar and handle especially the crowbar and you know what let's get him up to a point where he'll he's actually willing to sell things to us need at least a 60 opinion and I th think I can afford both no Hayden Nah, I can't afford both never mind but I will use the file as well so those are both good pickups I can make my own tool handle no worries and then uh, yeah we will Get our very beginnings of a pickaxe going. Awesome. So to upgrade the pickaxe, we need a couple of timber. Up upgrade the shovel. We need some uh, some uh, sheet metal, and of course duct tape for all of that. A funk, funk Orion person says that a mop can be used in the Escapist 1 as a weapon. It can be used in the Escapist 2, and it's actually one of my favorite weapons because it's not contraband. Uh, but for now, I'm, I'm not looking for a weapon to use. I want to keep my inventory light. Hey there, Savage. Good to see you, man. And hey there, Haley. I'm sorry I didn't see you earlier. You did say hey. And then Yoshi Crazy, hello Guru Matt. Are you there? Yes, I am Yoshi Crazy. It's good to see you though. Hey there, Pedro. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, we're not, we're not going for keys, so I don't think I need that. Um, I don't think we need the the, 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 the talcum powder. Although that is something that I used a lot of when I did my Escapist 2 uh, USS Anomaly first time. I was really bad at getting keys because I had basically gone through uh, the game super fast and hadn't really learned how to get keys very well. So I kept messing up and losing all my putty. It was bad. And then I wasn't aware that you could actually use the quests to get more items. And so I was just constantly going through desks and waiting for next day. Hey there Christian, it's good to see you. And Funk... Oh, Fun Korean Person. Oh, that's what your name is. <laughs> I was saying it wrong the whole time. You're a Fun Korean Person. Nice. That's awesome. It's Herbert says, Bro, what are you doing? Uh, I'm having a good day, man. Christian says, I like Guru Matt. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, cat Pun Guru Matt, stop kidding around. <laughs> nice. I like it. I love puns. Uh, but it's job time. Am I not smart enough to craft this? Uh, it's because that is the wrong thing to get. I needed to use the flimsy pickaxe. There we go. Alright. Uh, and then I believe that we don't need to craft that just yet. So let's put that there, that there, that there, and that there. Perfect. 
the video says have a good day. I hope you do too, man. Dun, 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 dun. I see we do have a troll in chat. Alright, but we don't need to mind that. We will go and get our job done. Or at least, hopefully, steal some wood. I, I don't really need any right now. I might need some later for the timber brace, but... Honestly, the money is pretty sweet, so... I might just do that. Cool. And I like this as a job time because... You know, it, it allows you to get through a, a little faster. At least this particular... Uh, design for the job. I like being able to do two at once. Uh, Caleb says, could you please show your escape plan from the minimap? Sure, man. Uh, let me just grab this and finish that off. Alright, so our escape plan so far is it looks like we can use... Like, we're basically going to be going through the floor over here. And then we're going to walk our way over this way and then go through the fence and then go to the helicopter over there. Basically bypassing the need to get a red key and getting a cyan key and then going through this fence. I mean, in theory, we could go through, uh, you know, with the red key and then just go around not needing a cyan key, but uh, trying to get two red keys and then two contraband pouches is a little iffy. If I found them in the guard quarters, I might think about it, though. That's still an option. Do, 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 do. All right, uh, odd llamas being odd in chat, but that's okay. That's fine. At least he's having a good time. Dottie the Amazing is back. Welcome back, Dottie. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. You know that. No, that's definitely we can get to there just fine. We should be good. Although I really should switch outfits. I want to go ahead and check the guard desks. Gravy says in Escape is one I did the hardest escape ever. Oh, really? And then Doggy Dan says, Hi, told me I could do this in the prison, Christmas prison, thanks. <laughs> well, I hope you mean that you saw my Christmas prison videos and that you like them. I'm glad. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Alright, uh, we're getting a lot of resources up, and I still haven't finished getting my intellect. I need at least a 70 if I can. Uh, what was that? Escapist... Cup Escapist, we head to prison. <laughs> yeah, I did have the cup head on earlier, that was my bad. I thought I had managed to get everything over. Uh-oh. Looks like someone forgot to get to... Uh... Oh, man. We just lost a ton of stuff out of my desk, too. Oh, well. I think the most important pieces were in our contraband area. And it's, it's not too difficult to go and get it back. Like, as long as the contraband area is still okay with the... Uh... I mean, the contraband desk is right there. So, as long as I get a uniform, I can go right back in. Although we missed... Oh, we, lost, we lost all the blankets, so that's really bad. Alright, well, it's job time. We might as well go make some money. Although we're coming up close on that hour deadline, so I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Super Drex was like, Guru, if you escape in, w in one second, I'll give you a whole cent. And I was like, Sorry, man. You're going to have to keep your money. All right. Thank you, Yurold. You're the best watcher of a YouTuber that I know. Hey there, Murp. It's good to see you. And hey there, Raze. Merp finally made it. Yeah, and it is one of those things where I was like, you know, I really should stream at different hours for you yeah, folks. Because I was streaming very consistently for the European crowd. But not for you guys. So that wasn't, that wasn't bueno. 
I'm glad I could fix that. Do, 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 do. Um, what do we need? We need to get ourselves an officer uniform. So let's go ahead and beat this guy up. Oh no, it's roll call already. Never mind. I don't want to miss it. Bam. Okay. And then where is Soul? I haven't seen him around. Is he, is he like AFK? No, he should be somewhere. Oh, Greamy says, I meant in the escape is too. I still haven't passed the second prison. Well, I do have guides on that, so if you need, uh, hopefully they'll be able to help you out. And then uh, Kali says, how long has it been? Oh, hey there, Cauliflower. You're now following. Uh, we started about 40 minutes ago, so it's been a little bit... It's not been ideal. We had one lockdown where I lost a lot of stuff, but... Oh, cool. We got a uniform. Thank you, Soul. He made it right. Alright, but, um... Okay. Alright, so this is the tricky part. Oh, we got a lot of this stuff, too. What do I want to keep? I want to keep this. I want to keep that. I don't mind about losing the infirmary outfit, but I'm going to have to hustle. Dump all this in my desk, and then... Just trust. All right, go to my desk. Go to my desk. No, in the my desk. Into my desk. Into my desk. Yes, perfect. We saved it. We saved all that stuff. Fogarin says, "Wait, is this most a fun Korean person?" Says, "Wait, is this multiplayer?" Yes, this is in fact multiplayer. I have a friend here with me, Soul the Dragon. He's been a you know a long time watcher of the channel. Hey there, Ice Rex. Good to have you, man. Alright, um, what am I thinking? I think after roll call, we want to go ahead and check out what we can finish off. Or, like, what can we do now? We can make... Oh, so there was a lightweight pickaxe somewhere. Okay, that's nice. Uh, but we can go ahead and craft a master level pickaxe, which is very good to have. And then get at least the beginnings of, you know, a good shovel. I want to combine them. I want to be able to make a multi-tool. So that that's kind of kind of our goal for the future. Christian says that they like the music. Yeah, it's a pretty good tune. Like, they have really good music when it comes to the escapist, I think. Sound design has been great. And, you know, like, a lot of the things, even though it's buggy, and it looks like he's getting shot all the time, a lot of the times we have really good like sounds and impacts like the gunshots feel really nice like swinging and hitting people all the little uh, details they got I think is great and Greamy says what prison are you right now so right now we are actually in a custom prison and I've forgotten the name of that custom prison it's like Zom Zomboy it's, it starts with a Z it should be in the title of the video and Kebab asks, how happy do you become once you escape a prison? It's more relief than joy, I find. Like, oh, finally, I'm out of there. Alright, breakfast time. We'll check that out. I would like to get another uniform. I keep losing mine. So let's see if I can't beat up a dude. In fact, let's go ahead and bring him in here. So there's, Because there's going to be, basically, officers coming in for breakfast time with the crowd. So if I can get Officer Hood here down before... Oh, like, he's doing a good job on blocking my attacks. All right, we got him. Uh, and you know what? Let's wear this, and then... I don't care about the baton. Like, I, I really don't. Uh, so as long as I'm not paying being paid attention to, I can walk over to my desk this in here get myself beat up drop all that heat and I've got a uniform it inside is Zambuka Island prison you are correct and kebabs like breakfast at 1 a.m. what logic is this I don't know some prison logic like I would not eat at this early in the morning or would this be late at night I don't know it's one of those 
either or things. It could be both. Alright, so this is going to be the last job time. You know, though, I think after I do this, I want to just kind of try and steal a bunch of this. Yeah, I think I'm going to steal a whole bunch of this stuff. There we go. I really need at least three, three timber in order to make myself a timber brace. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. Uh, the tricky part, of course, is getting it back to my desk. But at least during this time of the day, you don't actually get sniped unless... So, here, so I'm going to hoof it by these guards. And then my buddy here is going to grab it for me. There we go. Back to the infirmary with me. Golden Buddy says, Hoi Guru Matt, how are you? I'm doing great, Golden Buddy. It's good to see you, man. Uh, Supertrex says, Guru, I will do one thing that is a troll. Forgive me. I forgive you, Supertrex. Let's see, the Kebab Master says, The first time I got a job, I had no idea what I was doing, so I got fired. Oh no! Yeah, there's helpful little signs in each of the little job areas to show you what you do. And I love that standing directly behind an officer sometimes works. Because now she's lost interest in me. I just up and vanished. Alright, so we have... A pretty good setup, and I would like to get enough blankets to cover this again, but I don't think we have enough. Yeah, since both of us had cells covered in blankets, and for some reason the blankets don't respawn. Or maybe we do. Maybe we'll find enough. Let's look. And that, that is one of the things I was kind of hoping they'd fix in the prison editor that they haven't. The beds really need to respawn with the uh, bedding and new blankets and new pillows. All right. I wonder if that desk actually blocks vision. Oh, and it looks like we will have enough bed sheets, but we can't have another lockdown, or at least I can't get thrown into solitary again. Or else we will not be able to do this again. But Green Prison says, I would remember when there was 52 people watching you. Oh. Like that, must, that was a good day. The game's been out for a while. I, I feel like 20, 25 is what we're at right now. So that's a pretty good number. Alright. Um, Alright. Well, all we really need to make a multi-tool is one more duct tape. One more duct tape and nine more intellect. So, probably want to buy that. Cauliflower asks, how often do you stream? I try to stream every day, but I've been streaming in the afternoon because it's been working out for me. Uh, but it's obviously not ideal for a lot of other people. So, I'm, I'm making an effort to stream also in the evenings as well. I'm on the East Coast. So, uh, you know, trying to spread it out a little bit. Ah, we're coming up on that hour-long timer. I only got like, I think, 10, 12 minutes? Ooh. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna let it go until we get to the night. Like, I'm gonna give us at least the night time to try and escape. Oh, and that's right. We're not even going through my cell anymore. I forgot completely. Maybe we can go through someone else's cell. A basilisk duct tape for sale? Okay. Uh, that would be an item that we want to hoof back to my cell, but it's too far. I'll wait until they get to the another lunch period. Yeah, I think this is the spot we want to dig. Maybe over here. Hmm, I don't, I don't know. Basically, we got to get over to here. We might just want to dig through here. It's not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Guards can wander in at any time. But, like, I don't... Well, maybe there's a better spot. 
Because we, unless I get like a contraband pouch, we can't. We have to dig in that area. Uh, but we could get a contraband pouch. Maybe someone has one for sale, along with some duct tape, perhaps. Green says, "Can you do Prison Architect again?" Um, I don't think I've ever done Prison Architect. It is a game I own, but it's 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 so old at this point, and uh, it's one of those I'm I'm not. I'd rather do some more Escapist 2 stuff. And I would love to buy this, but no contraband pouch, so. It is what it is. And, um. Nothing really good on quests. Fun Korean says, why not dig the ground? And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're planning on doing. We're planning on digging. Uh, you, you can't go through the walls, because they're too big. But we might be able to get through the ground. Alright, alright. Um, Yeah, I think that's... I think we technically have most of the things we need to escape. I would love to get an uh, energy drink, or at least uh, an adrenaline shot or two. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and beat up some guards. Maybe grab some extra uniforms? Oh, dude, Soul the Dragon, you gotta go check out Roll, Roll Call. Oh, he's got a bunch of drinks, too. Uh-oh. I hope he doesn't trip Roll Call. Like, I hope... You went there right. You went there right, didn't you? You did, didn't you? Okay, he did. <laughs> uh, Super Drake says, Warning, the escapist in real life is much harder than it looks like in-game. You are correct. And the lag is real. Oh, that is unfortunate. Greamy says, if you did Prison Architect, I would love to watch you play it. I appreciate that. Aww. Oh, there's no guards around. I was like, why aren't the guards stopping this? Uh-oh. Are they going for my desk? Nope, they're going for someone else's. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I was like, please, officer. Look at this man, he's beating me up. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hillary, you are my gal Friday. You have everything that I've been looking for that I need. Give it to me. Give me what I want, give me what I need. Perfect. And we can make ourselves a multi-tool. <laughs> We've got some extra duct tape to make ourselves a better pair of cutters. Which is always a good thing. Okay. We have the very best tool in the game. Prepped and ready to be made because I'm not smart enough to make it. I'm only three intellect away. All right, we'll just wait here for that. Take care, Yoshi Crazy. And Wild Creeper is back. Welcome back. Oh, I just got enough intellect, man. I can make it. Well, you know what? You worked really hard for all these materials. Let's go ahead and see you make it. You can do it, my buddy. Dun 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 Multi-tool! Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Alright, so we are prepped. We are ready. We are ready, Freddy. Bebop and Rocksteady. Um... So, okay, so we've got... We got everything. We could use a couple more duct tape, but like we can always use more duct tape. I'm not even going to do my job. I'm just going to check in. And we kind of want to look around and see if there's a better place to dig. Because right now the spot that we're thinking about is pretty kind of out in the open. 
And now that we have some contraband pouches, we can walk back. Like, I like digging in here. This looks like a decent spot. It's big. You know, but we might want to try digging here. Except it will get us to a point where we need to go through two fences rather than just one. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I wonder what they got in here anyway. Oh, duct tape. I mean, I would grab it, except it'll get me in trouble. And a plastic red key. You know what? I wish I had use for that. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough money. I kind of want both of these things, though. Okay, okay. Hear me out. I think what I do is I just run them back to my cell. I think that's... They're, they're so good. They're so good. In fact... Oh, I, I don't... Yeah, I don't want to waste the red key, to be honest. Oh, hey, there's a guard over here. But if I can use the red key to get around needing to go through metal detectors, I will do that. Jacob says, I just joined the stream. How is he escaping? We're going to be escaping in the middle of the night. Yeah, we're, we're going to use the red key to get through this place. Um, we're going to just go through in the middle of the night. Hopefully not needing to get any sort of uh, guards on us. Hopefully fast enough. Um, oh. Oh, he dropped a contraband pouch for me and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, he did. There it is. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Mostly it was to get this like duct tape back, but maybe we can find some more in here. Oh, we did! Cool! Like, I'm always a fan of doing absolutely everything above and beyond what we absolutely need to do. Like, if I can make a max level pair of cutters, I'm gonna do that. If I can make a multi tool, I'm gonna do that. If I can make my contraband, contraband pouch even better than it currently is, I'm gonna do that. So we have a durable contraband pouch, we have a sturdy pair of cutters, we have a crowbar, we have a timber brace, all the energy drinks we could possibly need, and uh, we'll set them out here so I don't forget. Uh, but we need to wait for the middle of the night, so until it becomes nighttime, we're just kind of kicking our heels. Hey there, Quartz. Good to see you. And uh, the gamer that was into red key, it was a red plastic key. Jacob says, I watch your guides. I'm a big fan. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm really glad the guides are helping out. And I'm a big fan of you as well. Yes, K K uh, Kebab. I kept wanting to call you Caleb, but it's Kebab. Kebab Master. We are prepping to escape, escape. And yes, that's true, we do have an extra pouch now. Alright. So where do I want to go? Where do I want to go to escape? I think we gotta go to the exercise area. Like, it just looks good. And we're gonna go in the early morning, like the wee hours. Because I don't remember exactly when job time... Oh, like, when we, uh... When it turns to nighttime, it's it's like weird hours on this prison. Court says, "Sup, map? You fond of furry? You know what? I'm okay with furries. Like, I, I'm, I think they're cool dudes." Jacob says, uh, "They just subscribed. Thanks, man. I appreciate it for the subscription. I'm not one myself, but you know, however you want to live your life, you live your life and you'll be happy." Super Trek says, well, looks like Guru didn't escape in the first 10 minutes. Yeah, we didn't. There wasn't... I mean, there was technically a way, sort of. Not really. There wasn't a key rush, per se. It was... Hey there, uh... The Creeper Hero. <laughs> I like that name. Thanks for the subscription. Um, there wasn't really a key rush available. There was a key grab, grab, and then fence. <laughs> so I couldn't run my way out. I honestly would love to go out this way, 
but the helicopter looks like it's just gonna be easier. Maybe we can go there anyway. We wander around. I'm gonna go take a look. Hey, hey, the gamer. Welcome to the channel. I hope you have fun. Benjamin Chanel says, thanks, Matt, for the 100% escape sheet. You're welcome, dude. I'm glad the guides helped out. And yes, we have so many drinks. Soul, Soul, I'm putting you on drink duty. You get to carry all the drinks. <laughs> Alright, I, I want to go take a look. And it's that's one of the cool things about making maps on here. Is you get to put different escapes around. Ah, uh, that's not going to work. Maybe this place. Oh, hey, a B-Dog subscribed. Nice. That looks like an escape, but I can't... Oh, there it is. Yep, there's a car. Oh, but there's metal detectors on the outside of there. Oh, well. The A gamer says... Or A, the gamer says, Thanks for helping me escape HMP Offshore. Yeah, that place can be tough. What is up, B-Dog? Not much, man. We are about ready to escape. I think we're going to wait for the night to fall and then go. And someone is being chased by the SWAT. What? What's going on? That's interesting. I don't normally see the SWAT guys run out for what looks like no reason. I guess he was chasing down someone. That wasn't one of us. Huh. I think this is night. Yeah, this is nighttime. So we'll return to cells. Like, we can still go in the very early in the morning. So we'll get some sleep, get up, hit roll call, and then grab our stuff and go. And that's one of the things. As long as the spotlights are out, you can dig out in the open. And cut out in the open. But we'll have to make it quick. So, you know what? Uh, let's grab the stuff out of here. I believe that is the stuff that we need. Condorman pouch, notwithstanding. There we are. And then he grabbed all the drinks. Excellent. Condorman pouch works. I'm very happy. <laughs> and then I was thinking maybe we should go towards the exercise area and escape that away. So let's give that a shot. Honestly, I like escaping over here. It's just, you never know when guards are going to wander in. So here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to grab the energy drink, but I accidentally went inside. Okay, one tile. Yeah, we're just going to ignore breakfast. Two tiles, and then uh, put up a brace. Okay, there's the third tile ready to go. One more tile to go. Oh, and I gotta dump this stuff out here. Uh oh, there's a guard. Uh, hopefully, he just kind of goes damage found and then runs away. Oh, what? I can't dig out under the tree. Oh, but I can dig it over here. Oh, I'm too tired though. Um, do we have any more energy? I need energy, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> he kept us safe. Uh, you gotta like, let me grab the energy. Okay. This is turning into very badness, but we're gonna keep at it. Oh man. Like this is we're digging like where do we go? It's not letting me dig out. Is did I not dig far enough is the issue. Oh, I didn't dig far enough, did I? Well, we're going to keep at it. And this is why I don't like digging. I am like just lost in the air. Like, I just don't care. It's that there, that there. I think we just dug straight underneath the wall. And, like, Soul is doing his level best to keep us safe and uh, keep us going. But I don't think it's going to happen. But, man, we finally managed to get out. 
All right, soul, keep him distracted. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. You can do it, soul. Like spotlight, don't, don't, don't touch me. All right, soul, run for it. Run for the helicopter. Run for the heli. Run for the heli. You can do it, man. I'm just gonna spam escape. Come on. Yes! Oh my gosh! Like, MVP! Soul of the Dragon! Doing all the heavy lifting, keeping the guards off our back as I struggle to make that escape. Wow! That was, I think, the craziest escape I've ever been a part of. Thank you. Oh, that was awesome. That should not have worked, Soul the Dragon says, and I agree. Like, I think in normal prisons, as soon as you attack a guard... But see, that's the thing. If you attack a guard during Lights Out, it's instant lockdown. But because we were doing it not during Lights Out, but then the... He was indoors, so he was just fighting around and just leading him on a merry goose chase. It worked. Wow. That's... What a great 50th episode. And it's... I hopefully can do 50 more. I love all these custom prisons. They've been incredible. They've been amazing. Yeah, so you had like six guards after you. Yeesh. Uh, Super Trek says, Guru, you forgot the milk we do. <laughs> uh, I think I drank enough energy drinks. But yeah, six guards. That's crazy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit that like button. It really does help me out. If you want to let me know what you think, please leave a comment in the section below. I love reading them. And then, of course, if you haven't already and you want to see more of this stuff and you like it, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when I'm live. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember, good luck escaping.